The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman, women's basketball coach Mike Mincy, I'm Michael Watchering, and this is CNEagles.com. The Lady Eagles take their final road trip of the year to Queens on Saturday. And, Coach, uh, this is a Queens team, the first time we talked about it, a team that doesn't score the basketball very well, even though they shoot a very nice percentage. Uh, the first time you were able to speed them up, force uh, 20 turnovers in the first half. Uh, what, if anything, has changed in the way that they go about things? Oh, well, you know, like I said, they are very efficient offensively. They're not going to get in a hurry. And uh, that's one of the things that was in our game plan last time was to try and speed the game up. And one of the ways of doing that is to even get yourself out of position defensively by trapping all over the place and to try and force them into quick shots so we can play a more up-tempo game. Uh, as it stands now, we're probably not going to be able to do that. We may be able to press some, but we certainly can't do what we did, um, you know, several weeks ago. And... Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. They're just they're they're a good squad. You know, they just been unfortunate haven't been able to get some W's. And uh, you know, one player in particular, Lacey Singletary, their post player. I think she's one of the best bigs in our league, and we'll have our hands full. You know, trying to cover her. Yeah, the first time you played, she had two fouls in the first half. Was limited to six minutes. Second half, five for six from the floor. Gets eleven points in the second half. Uh, really, one of the forces offensively and defensively for Queens. What do you do against her to try to slow her down? Well, you know, that's one of the things why we got the big lead in the first half was the fact that she did get those two fouls and had to sit most of it. And then they came out in the second half. They actually outscored us in the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, our energy dropped, you know, and we had that lead. And, and I hated that, we, that it did, but, you know, they did outscore us. And uh, uh, she's somebody that we got to target. You know, 15 does a really good job and, and, and hits 15-footers. You know, they don't like to shoot the three ball a lot, but, uh, you know, inside that three-point line, anywhere inside a three-point line, they're very efficient can shoot the ball well. Uh, but with Singletary, we're going to have to do a number on her. we got to make sure we stay out of foul trouble. Uh, it would be nice to get her in foul trouble again. Um, and so we need to attack her and not back away from her and then in turn not get in foul trouble ourselves. This is the final road trip of the year. How can a game against Queens tomorrow help propel the end and really the stretch run for this team with two home games next week and then the conference tournament? Yeah, I mean uh, – Obviously, the Anderson game was tough, uh, especially the way we lost it there by two. And I was really proud of our kids for going over there and giving a good effort and uh, uh, trying to, you know, get a good momentum going into the end of the season, get on a winning streak. And now we have three games left and uh, going on the road at Queens, come back with two home games next week. And uh, so the kids are, in, you know, they know what's ahead of them and they know what's at stake. And uh, certainly being ranked number seven in the region, you know, they, they understand that uh, giving up the game at Anderson didn't necessarily hurt them. Uh, but we don't need to give up too many more. We, matter of fact, we need to get on a winning streak, and uh, winning these next three would be really huge for us. Thanks for your time, Coach. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's Carson Newman Women's Basketball Coach Mike Mincy. I'm Michael Watcher, and this is CNEagles.com.